it would be phenomenal if someone saw this reel and was like, I don't mind hiring this guy, like, at all. <laughs> what people don't realize when someone can do multiple voices is that that same person can also possess multiple layers to their soul. It'd be so great to book work off this reel. So great, so great. Oh my God. I mean, one thing about voices is that it's so much better to perform them than it would be to have to hear them constantly in your head all day. I don't need to do impressions. I get enough work up of a one character, and that character is me. Hey, don't look at me for impressions. I got enough problems as it is. I woke up this morning with a strange craving for nuts. So I decided to spend the day with my wife and my mother-in-law. <laughs> I don't mind if someone decides to do an impression on me. In my line of work, you learn to have a thick skin, amongst other things. Now, I'm not here to perpetuate a stereotype. I'm just here to declare that all I really need is a man to wrap his arms around me and love me. That's so wrong. You know, there is nothing wrong with a little man-on-man -man love. In fact, it kind of grabs you by the boo-boo, don't it? Whether or not you love a man or a woman, you need to refrain from the practice of smoking doobies. A desperate voiceover actor sounds like a song I do. And the performer shuffles home sadly after being rejected by Cartoon Network. Hey, I sing songs about the working man down on his luck. Cause you need to listen to a multimillionaire when it comes to blue collar struggles. Why should we stress over struggles when we can dance? You know, boys and girls, dancing is a really quick way to feeling happy. How did do I see you've met my... Faithful froggy man. Wow, a Dr. Frankenfurter impression. You know, if this guy was going to pull a voice out of the Tim Curry arsenal, I would have assumed it'd be Pennywise the Clown. It must be reiterated that this is a voiceover exercise, not a visual representation of a performer's range. Otherwise, you would notice that Nicholson eyebrows are the exact same as Kubrick eyebrows. But if you want to switch from the eyebrows to the teeth... Then look no further than a nice Jim Carrey impersonation. Yeah, that's right. But the only drawback is that people might assume that you fell out of a time machine from 1995. Yeah, <laughs> stick around. There might be an Austin Powers impersonation later. Don't worry. If something is not current, then you can repackage it as a cartoon character. <laughs> Nobody knows that my voice comes from Paul Lynn. 